Sheboygan man due in court today for alleged sexual assault. Sheboygan County crash sends five to the hospital. Student arrested after shots fired inside high school. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019. A court appearance is being held today in the case of a Sheboygan man facing felony sexual assault charges. Prosecutors say 28-year-old Kayomi Ky Montrell Booker threatened and assaulted a person interviewing him for a job at a local resort back in September. He, accused, he is accused of threatening violence to the person if the person did not perform a sex act during the tour of the facility. According to the police, Booker also sent an email to the victim two days later threatening to show a video of the encounter unless he was given $500. Booker eventually confessed to sending the email and was arrested. Add high winds, high waves, and some flooding to the list of weather worries for folks along Lake Michigan. The National Weather Service is allowing a lakeshore flooding advisory to expire this morning, but Forecasters say there could still be some lingering problems for folks along the lake from Sheboygan down to Kenosha. The biggest worry is flooding along low-lying roads, particularly with the cold temperatures that could turn some of that into ice. An investigation continues in Sheboygan County after a two-vehicle crash sent five people to the hospital, including two children. It happened around 5.30 Friday night on State Highway 57 at the intersection of County Road FF in the town of Rhine. Investigators say a Ford Fiesta being driven by a 32-year-old male from Kiel was driving north on 57 when he turned west in front of a southbound Dodge Caravan being driven by a 30-year-old male from Kiel. The driver of the Ford was hospitalized with serious life-threatening injuries, and the other driver, along with the woman and two kids, were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A housing shortage has long been identified as impeding the filling of thousands of open Sheboygan County jobs, most of those solidly blue-collar. Recent and continuing construction probably will not solve that problem. While new apartment projects are tooted as addressing a housing shortage, recently published figures show these mostly luxury apartments are out of reach for all but the best paid jobs being advertised. Following HUD guidelines of affordable housing costs, that is 30% of a household's gross income. These new living options likely require a second earner live there as well. Most of these units command between $1,000 and $1,500 per month at the same time, while mortgages typically are more affordable than rent. Recent studies by Zillow and the Harvard Joint Center of Housing Studies show mid-market home inventories have shrunk over 9% over the last year. And new construction is largely geared toward the same luxury market as the unaffordable apartments now. The American Red Cross wants you to keep blood donations in mind during this season of giving. The need for gift of life is year round and between Thanksgiving and Christmas, more than 1 million units of blood could be needed for transfusions in the US. All types are needed, but especially type O, those wishing to donate can either make an appointment to, loc to donate or locate a nearby blood drive by visiting redcrossblood.org. The next two local blood drives will be at the Sheboygan Trades and Labor Hall on Wisconsin Avenue from 10 until 3 this coming Friday and next week Tuesday from 12.30 until 5.30 at Faith Reformed Church in Cedar Grove. And finally, a student is in custody after exchanging gunfire with an a school resource officer at Milwaukee Area High School Monday morning. 
The incident began just after 10 a.m. when officers responded to a critical incident at Waukesha South High School, where a student and school resource officer reportedly exchanged gunfire. Officials say a student tipped off the officer that the student, identified as a 17-year-old male, had brought a weapon to class. The officer had just confronted him about it before the shooting. The student was taken to a nearby hospital after an incident, and the officers report he is in stable condition and the extent of his injuries are unknown. Students were released from the classes around 11.15 a.m. following a lockdown. Some say there was an announcement about a drill and that they took cover under desks while teachers barric barricaded doors, but knew it was not a drill after hearing a number of gunshots. Police say it was an isolated incident and that they are not seeking any other suspects. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.